हरे कृष्णा डोंट लेट द क्रेविंग फॉर क्लैरिटी डिस्ट्रैक्ट अस फ्रॉम वर्किंग विथ वॉट एवर क्लैरिटी वी हैव सपोज वी आर ड्राइविंग अ कार एंड एट दैट टाइम देर इज हैवी रेन्स एंड स्लीट फॉलोइंग एंड आवर फ्रंट विंडो बिकम्स unclear because of that continuous shower of rain now if there is no place where we can stop we um, may have to keep driving on the car, uh, road naturally we would want to have a clear view so that we can move drive safely and swiftly but if the front window is unclear at that time the craving for clarity should not become so great that we uh, we don't we say that oh i don't have any clarity so i won't drive or we start driving recklessly blindly whatever clarity we have now we may use our <clears throat> we may try to clean the window with whatever cleaner we have we what wipe the window with whatever wiper we have and whatever clarity we can get we will look through that and keep moving as safely as we can and eventually as the rain subsides clarity will come once again so while driving we don't stop driving just because uh, we don't have clarity uh, if if we are on the highway then we keep driving with whatever clarity we have maybe slowly but we keep driving similarly for us in the journey of life we are all driving and sometimes our mind which we could we are like the souls in the driver in the car in the body and the mind is the is what is connected to our front window so the mind we don't see so much with our eyes but with our mind if our mind is disturbed if it is unclear if too many thoughts desires worries resentments are all coming in too many emotions are coming and going then the constant fall of those emotions on the on the front window of our mind will take away clarity and we won't be able to see clearly during our life journey but though though we naturally want clarity time is not going to stop life is going to move on and we need to keep moving on so with whatever clarity we have we try to take steps cautiously or drive cautiously and keep moving on and just as the season and environmental seasons change in time and the front window of the car becomes clear similarly our the our inner environment weather that is our moods they also change and things will become clearer so krishna says don't crave for clarity work with whatever clarity you have he points to this dynamic in the 16th chapter of the bhagavad in the 14th chapter of the bhagavad gita while talking about how to go beyond the moods when arjun asks this question 16.21 14.21 krishna answers by saying prakasham cha pravrittim cha moham eva cha pandava na dveshti sampravrittani na nivrittani kaamshati udasina vadasinam gunairyo na vichayate gunavartan dityeva yovatishthati nengate So Krishna says, "Prakash, Pravritti, and Moha. These are three shorthand words used to refer to the three modes: Sattva, Rajas, and Tamas. Goodness, passion, and ignorance." And he says that based on the variability of material nature's influence on us, these modes and the particular tendencies of clarity, which is Prakash, hyperactivity, which is Prakash, Pravritti, and Moha. is lethargy apathy illusion that is in the mode of ignorance these three will come and they will go and when they come don't resent it when you feel apathetic don't resent it and the dveshti sampravrittani nanivrittani kaankshati and when they go away also don't crave for them so normally we may crave for clarity but craving itself is typical of the mode of passion wanting something which is not there obsessively characterizes the mode of passion accepting 
the situation that we are in is vital and that such acceptance is characteristic of the mode characteristic of the mode of goodness of course another characteristic is clarity but even if we don't have clarity if instead of craving hankering or lamenting we are accepting okay this is how i don't feel so clear i don't feel so calm but still let me think as calmly as i can let me think as clearly as i can if we have that mood then we will move forward with that mood and eventually we will progress eventually we will be able to regain the clarity because the mood's influence will change so work with whatever clarity we have and clarity will emerge thank you re krishna